What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at one of the problems in Shadowgun Legends and how it could be fixed easy in the best possible way. They introduced the infusion system not so long ago. We now have materials dropping from enemies, missions and everywhere. And we realized pretty quick that it was not so hard to infuse all our best gear and our best weapons. So it seems that maybe the infusion system is more for the new players and when they level up they, they power up their good items uh, along the way and then when they get to max level everything you drop is max level so your materials are useless and they're stacking uh, as you see here. So you end up having tons of materials and you don't know what to do with them but not only materials the hardcore pvp players also have another problem the war points once you bought everything in the shop at nitros you start stacking the war points and you got nothing to do with them so here's a simple way they could fix that and it would be amazing and probably pretty easy to implement first of all two things we could do about the infusion materials once you're level max and you have nothing to infuse First thing would be perk reroll. They already said perk reroll is coming to Shadowgun Legends, but perk reroll, I mean, it's not the only thing you could do. There's more to that. Perk reroll is awesome, but usually perk reroll doesn't mean create your own weapon. You don't get to choose all your perks and all your numbers because the game would be pretty bad. Usually in other games, when you do perk reroll, you choose one perk, only one perk on your weapon and you can re-roll it and re-rolling means gambling you don't know what you're gonna get you can get a random perk and a random number so you can get unlucky and you may have to re-roll and re-roll and re-roll until you get the good perk and the good number that's what you do with your materials you gamble you spend them trying to get a better perk on your weapon now if i take my nico for example it is not good enough. If I was playing another game, I would not use perk reroll on my Nico because it's already got more than one perk that is not max. So it's not a very, very, very good Nico. It's got 8% damage, 8% to elite, and it's not even max crit, all right? So if I was gonna use perk reroll, I would reroll my damage or my damage to elite trying to get better. But that would be a bad investment and a bad move because the other perks are not max. So maybe in the future, I'm going to get a better Nico with all the max perks except one. And then I would choose that one for perk reroll. Now that's a much better example of a weapon you would use for perk reroll. It's got max crit, max damage, max fire rate. You don't see the iron sight damage, but it's the only perk that is not max. So that would be a good choice. I would reroll the last perk trying to get maybe damage to elites or maybe get a higher number on my iron sight damage. Now that brings me to the second option of what you could do with these materials. The second option also exists in other games. I did not invent that, but it's called Legendary Reforge. So if you don't have a very, very good legendary that you don't want to waste materials rerolling one perk because the other perks are not max, you can reforge your legendary. So let's say I got a pretty good Nico. And then I got another Nico when farming, but it's it's worse than my own one. I could reforge it. It's more expensive than per reroll. You actually end up destroying your duplicate and a bunch of materials, and it will reforge. It will reroll the whole weapon uh, randomly. All perks will be. It's like if you drop another one. So you destroy it. You destroy materials, and you get another Nico. But it's, it's expensive, of course, and you're gonna get random perks. So let's say your favorite weapon uh, is Nico or uh, Ambra or whatever. You want to try to get a very, very good one. So you would use your duplicate and you would reforge and reforge and reforge until you end up spending all your materials or until you end up having a very good one that is almost perfect. And then you would use perk reroll to make it perfect, right? So I think we got two good options that would make it useful and would make us gamble and spend all your materials. And I'm thinking expensive, like at least 10 legendary materials to reforge. So you cannot do it all day, every day. You do it when you played for a whole week or two weeks and you end up with extra materials. Then you can use perk reroll or legendary reforge and you can use your materials until you end up with nothing. And then you start farming again. Now the war points issue is another thing 
PvP players end up maybe farming less in the dungeons because they enjoy PvP more. So they don't have access to all the loot that we get when you do a lot of dungeons every day. So we get a lot of drops, a lot of armor and weapon drops. But these PvP guys they end up with a lot of war points. So what would be an amazing way to deal with the extra war points? I think the Nitro Shop should have a bunch of different crates. And you can spend your points and buy a bunch of crates, alright? so your extra points will be again a form of gambling to get rid of it and maybe get something good in exchange but there will be like eight or ten different crates you could have glove crates shoulder crates leg crates it would be one different crate for every piece of armor and you could spend all your extra war coins of course you would keep maybe two or three thousand in case there's a good weapon in the shop or something but if you have tens of thousands of points you want to get rid of them so you can buy let's say you look at your gear and you think your best improvement would be i need better shoulders so you could buy a bunch of shoulder crates all right you buy like 10 20 30 crates and each crate will give you a random epic shoulders it could be any uh any set and the perks will be random so you can get crap get crap get crap and then boom you get a good one and you could have like a 10 percent chance at legendary shoulders so every 10 crates you get a chance at legend shoulders so if you open like 40 crates you get maybe four legendary shoulders so again the perks are random right but you have a chance at a good set of perks because these pvp guys they play a lot and they don't do as much dungeons so that would be another good way for the pvp guys to get good loot and get good drops and their points would not go to waste and maybe it would motivate pve guys to do more pvp so once again, I did not invent anything. Perk reroll, legendary reforge, and shop crates is something we have in other games. It's a good way to get rid of our extra materials and extra war points. It's a form of gambling. It is not pay to win. And it does not really advantage old players because it's still random, right? So new players have the same chance. Uh, to get good stuff as the old players so let me know in the comments what you think about the ideas if you think it's good type in the comment leave the thumbs up and share the ideas on facebook discord and reddit we need mfg to hear our ideas and make the game better for everyone so once again thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more shadowgun legends news gameplay and guides i will be back soon till then watch my other videos Take care. Here I come.
Extraction unit to SG. Coming low and fast for a hostile extraction. Be ready, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 